to prefer, perform, let's try that again, to perform the individual manual muscle test for pronator teres, uh, the patient is seated, could also be supine. The limb is positioned in shoulder adduction, about 45 degrees of elbow flexion and full pronation. The uh, elbow is stabilized at the medial aspect of the elbow. The forearm is, or resistance is applied to the volar aspect of the distal forearm over the radius. Uh, so you put your fingertips there and then the heel of your hand is placed on the ulna on the dorsum of the distal forearm to try to provide a force couple to supinate the forearm. So let's bring you down here to about 45. Very good. And I'm going to try to turn your palm up and I want you to hold it right there. Okay, don't let me turn you. Okay, hold, 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 hold. Very good. Substitution movements would include shoulder abduction. So if they're losing the battle down here into supination, they might abduct the shoulder to make it look like they're still maintaining a palm down sort of positioning. Note that this uh, tests pronator teres, but it does not eliminate pro pronator quadratus. There's no way to eliminate pronator quadratus from this test. Uh, palpation is done and the um, proximal, anterior proximal forearm, basically right in here over the ulna. Let's try that one more time and you can see right here where it really pops out. 